Feast your eyes on the class of 1977. This is a top of the line Sportster, the XL1200C, C stands for custom, and it comes loaded from the factory with a 21 inch front wheel, the low long stance, it's got the solid mag and chrome 16 inch rear wheel right from the factory and this one's absolutely beautiful this was a, a lifelong love affair with this bright with this bike david stankowski from enfield connecticut bought this bike brand new from the local harley dealer about 15 miles from here i've got the original title in the book right here and the original owner's manual bike never this is a forever bike he kept it for his entire life um 26 years he passed away recently and his brother uh, called us up and uh Asked us if we could find a new home for his bike. So I've got the clean title in hand and it is absolutely freaking gorgeous. Uh, you rarely see 26 year old bikes this clean unless they are a one owner bike from brand new. And he didn't cut any corners. Every option and accessory you'd want to put on this bike, he did. Starting with the engine. If you look at this red coil, this is, this is, a, this is a clue. Um, the, uh, the red coil is a high performance Screaming Eagle coil. It's also, show them the intake, Ronnie. It's got the Har Harley Davidson Screaming Eagle intake, which isn't all corked up on the back. And it's got the Screaming Eagle dual exhaust. It also has a Screaming Eagle tuner. So the whole thing is done. That's what they call a stage two kit. And it is, runs like a brand new motorcycle. Uh, it's got very low miles on it. We just did the full 10,000 mile service on it. Went through, we did more than a 10,000 mile service. Every fluid in the bike was changed, the, the gear lube, primary chain case lube and gear lube. The engine oil is brand new. The oil filter is brand new. The brake fluid is brand new Motul, front and rear brake fluid for the disc brakes. We put a brand new set of Metzler tires on it. Zoom in and show them. These tires literally have less than five miles on them. Top of the line, Metzler, Harley Davidson tires, the best that you can buy. They're called the Metzler Marathon. Front and rear were just mounted on the original factory rims. Um, there's a lot of really cool custom features on this bike that you wouldn't notice unless you knew what you're looking at. I consider myself somewhat of a Sportster expert. I bought my, my first 94 Sportster in 1994, an 883 Sportster um, for Kenny's mom actually, and uh, customized that. And ever since then, I, I've, I've literally owned over a hundred Sportsters uh, through the dealership here. They're all mine for a little while and I get to ride them and I love I love these Sportsters, they're awesome bikes, especially these Rigid Mount Evolution Sportsters. They're 50 pounds lighter than, than the, the last generation of the Sportster. And starting at the front, like I said, the 21 inch chrome mag wheel, the beautiful crimson red with gold and orange pinstripe. This is a custom option right here. The headlight uh, nacelle that you see on the front here, it looks like a freight train, that's a custom option. These are the factory original risers, tack and speedo, you get all that on the 1200 custom. But you can see it's got the custom intake, it has the, the, right from the factory, the whole engine comes chrome, but it has chrome rocker covers right out of the Screaming Eagle Harley Davidson catalog. Those are an option. These pegs are, are all out of the Harley Davidson catalog. They're genuine Harley Davidson branded uh, billet, uh, chromed pegs with the rubber um, inserts on them. It has the rear master cylinder chrome cover. It has the chrome oil tank cover. It's got the chrome, not only the chrome upper belt, but it has the chrome lower belt in the chrome rear sprocket cover and the dual exhaust in the chrome factory rim. It came from the factory with that. The rear turn signals have been upgraded to these bullet style uh, red lenses, which kind of look like something on, a, on an airplane or a freight train. And the rear lens is a smoked brake lens with the blue dot in it, which is kind of cool. Really like that at night, it lights up nicely. Coming around this side, you see again, the full <coughs> um, ensemble of the custom pegs. You've got four custom pegs on here and the Ford, uh, the, the Ford factory mounted highway pegs, which are really nice. If you're tall like me, this is a Sportster that rides like a big bike with the 21 inch front wheel, the pullback bars, the uh, um, factory highway pegs. It's really nice, really nice and comfortable. The battery is brand new on it also. We put a brand new battery in it, brand new tires, brand new spark plugs. Um, Everything's been done on the bike. All the fluids have, have been changed. It was given the 10,000 mile service, which is a full comprehensive. Every nut and bolt on the bike has been addressed. It has a Harley Davidson caliper co covers. That's an option, um, both front and rear. And it also has a Harley Davidson axle covers on the front forks, as you can see. So um, one of the tasteful, intelligent upgrades that he did on this bike was the Harley Davidson Screaming Eagle auxiliary oil cooler. These are air-cooled motors. Oil is the lifeblood of the engine. This motor has been protected with this oil, Harley Davidson oil cooler, so it always runs cool. 
And when we changed the oil, it was clean, but we didn't know how long it was in there for, so we put that fresh oil in there. Uh, the tank was cleaned on the inside, and then the entire bike was given a full, what we call the rotisserie detail. It was hand, I, I did this with Ronnie. Ronnie's behind the camera. We did this together. Um, eight hours in the detail shop, four hours with the two of us working on it. It was hand washed, um, air dried, and then we, we went over the whole bike. We did a, a two-stage polish on the tank, along with two coats, a new coat, it's a polymer sealant, paint sealant that the, the guy who runs the Lars Anderson Museum in Rhode Island is a friend of mine and they have, you know, half a million dollar cars there and he told me about this new coat and I've been using it on all my bikes. It's a once a year application. It's, it's, it's a like, kind of like a ceramic coat, but it's a polymer um, and it just gives a super deep shine. This original factory paint job on this thing is stunning. Another thing that he upgraded was the saddle. He upgraded this beautiful Harley Davidson custom saddle with the Harley Davidson Sportster logo on the side. I can't, he even upgraded the grips, the Harley Davidson Motor Company grips. Um, we did quite a bit of work to the bike. He's put a, quite a bit into it. You know, if you base this off of, uh, if you bought a, 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 a Sportster off of Craigslist or, or Facebook that was stock and you wanted to turn it into this, you'd spend quite a bit of money. All, all the options and extras that were already on there, plus our work order came out to $2,574 for 17 hours of labor and $341 in parts. Um, we're running ethanol free VP fuel in it. So uh, again, clean title and manual in hand. The, the only thing that's not done to it yet was a part that was on back order. Uh, we're putting a new intake seal on the carburetor, uh, which is something I recommend doing every seven years or so. I, I, um, it, it's not a necess necessity, but I do it on all the sports. We still have a new, not only is the carb rebuilt and jetted properly, but the intake seals are gonna be uh, fresh on it too. They just haven't come in yet. So that's about it guys. If if you're looking for a world-class Sportster, and they don't make these anymore, uh, this is real American steel. Steel tank, steel fenders, made made in the USA before they started outsourcing a lot of the stuff overseas. This is a, this is, guys, this bike's 26 years old, so you could run classic plates on it. Cla as we all know, classic Sportsters are going up in value every day, as is this one, too. It's an appreciating asset, not a depreciating asset like most new bikes. Anyways, enough flapping of the gums. Let me give you a riding demo. If you have any questions about it, give us a call, 860-454-7024. Be happy to um, answer any questions you have. You can come look at it, be on display in the Harley section on the third floor of the museum until it finds its new home. Uh, we offer financing in-house and we can arrange the shipping. So if you have any concerns, call us. We'll hook, Junior and I will hook you right up. Fill the jungle with sound. If you're looking for a stunning, classic, genuine Harley Davidson that's ready to go to Laconia, Americade, Sturgis, or ride across country, that's a bike that's only going to go up in value, your ship has come in. This thing's an absolute diamond. It runs as good as it looks. If you have any questions, give me a call. Thanks for watching. God bless Willie G, Harley Davidson. God bless you all. God bless America.